Hello and welcome to the very first Let's Pose. I put a poll out on the channel asking if you guys would like to see like a little tutorial on how to pose the figures in the way that I do for a lot of the photos I take for the reviews. 86% of you said yes, so let's hope this goes well. Uh, as always, please make sure to like and subscribe. But today we're going to be doing the Marvel Legends Spider-Man, specifically the Symbiote uh, Spider-Man from the Retro series, just because that just happens to be the one I have. Most common character, most common line, figured it's a great starting point. Uh, so, as you can see right now, I've got him just in a kind of a little bit of an action pose. Let's let's uh, go through and straighten him out here. Uh, number one thing you always want to do uh, before you start posing a figure, especially if it's a figure that you just got, is get familiar with the articulation. You know, check to see how the head moves, how much tilt you can get. You go in through and check all the arms, you know, the butter see if it has butterfly joints, see how much rotation you have at the shoulder and the bicep and the elbow and the wrists, and same thing with like the abdomen, you want to make sure to see how much range you have there, all the way down even in the legs. Um, and if you have any loose, or not loose, uh, tight joints, easy solution, just get a hair dryer, put it on low, leave them in front of it for, you know, just a couple minutes, just enough to heat it up, and you'll loosen those up. Just be careful, because you don't want to break it, uh, especially because a lot of these figures now, they get so hard to get after, you know, their first release. Uh, so let's start with just some, you know, fighting stances. So Spider-Man's a very grounded character. He's very, you know, hunched over and sprawled out. He's, he's you know, he's never just in like a, a generic boxing pose. So you want to get the legs kind of spread out a little bit, not quite all the way. You want to get him bent. You want to get the arms kind of pulled back like he's, you know, ready to, to fight and throw down. Get the head looking forward. Get him just a little bit hunched, but not all the way over. So you can see the legs just enough part to kind of hold him up and, and you know, give him that leaning forward look. You've got just a little bit of crunch there at the abs. You've got the wrist pulled forward just enough to kind of make it look like he's ready to th throw down. Uh, it gives you, you know, just just an action stance, really. It, it makes it look like he's ready to fight, you know, the Green Goblin, Rhino, whoever. Uh, there, there's tons of different things you can do with these figures. So we're only going to do some basic stuff. Uh, maybe later on, if this continues to do well and people like it, We'll uh, get into some more crazy stuff that I do. Um, for now, though, let's say you want him in just, you know, a standard pose, but you want it to be a little more, uh, a little more alive. So here we have him kind of super here, man, fists on his hips, you know, head back laughing at whoever he has beat up. Because let's face it, Peter Parker always makes fun of his enemies. Symbiote Spider-Man's a dick. So he's definitely going to be, you know, kind of laughing in their face afterwards. So he is kind of leaned back to give him that kind of arch look like he's having a good chuckle. So it just gives a little more liveliness to the vanilla pose versus, you know, some options you may have where you just have him looking straight forward with the arms down. Kind of gives you some options there. Uh, let's see, what do we want to do next? Let's do, you know, let's, let's have some, uh, some more action. Let's go with like a, you know, a, let's do a superhero landing pose. So let's get some other hands here. You saw, I pulled up the flipping hands. There's the kind of sprawled out like wall crawling hands let's get those wall crawling hands on here Give me a second Give that pop that on and pop that on there awesome okay so if we get the knees bent all the way and this one you will have to use like the thigh cut and even maybe the shin cut on top of the uh, ankles. That's gonna be a big part of this pose. So you wanna get the legs kind of spread out as far as possible because his arms are, aren't as long as his legs, so it is gonna be harder for him to get to the ground without you know, him leaning too far forward. So you do that, you get the head up there, you wanna kind of pull that front arm forward with the butterfly joint as well. Spread the legs out a little more, make sure you have the ankles pivoted so the feet are kind of flush. And there you go. Now you have the kind of pose where he has just landed after, you know, swinging around. You see the feet are flush. That's one of the good things about some of these figures is that you get quite a bit of range to be able to do this kind of stuff and have them in these poses. And it look good because, you know, back in the day, he would have been like on the side of his feet. Uh, so it definitely has come a long way. And of course, you got the arm, you know, sprawled back, you know, full superhero landing. You got to go all the way, commit. Uh, let's see, get him back 
here into just a vanilla pose again. And we'll move on to what we want to do next. Uh, you know what? We do a lot with like characters fighting. Like in my last review for the uh, Marvel Legends uh, Retro Rhino, it was Spider-Man and Deadpool versus Rhino in the pictures. So let's get some fighting, like some some throwing punches in there. So this is one of the good things when you have that butterfly joint because it gives you a lot of option. You also want to you know move the shoulder forward so that way you get that full range, and then you twist the biceps so that way it still you know is looking like a normal arm would when you're fighting and when you're throwing punches. And then Spider-Man's very dynamic, so you know he's gonna have the legs kind of spread out and the knees. Uh, these posing wires, I use these because they're easy to Photoshop out. Uh, you can get them at like craft stores. I think like 10 feet of it is like $12 or something like that. It's, it's pretty nice, and you, you just cut it to whatever size you need. Uh, it is definitely something that takes a little bit more effort because you have to you know, get the bounce just right uh, compared to that you can always just use a normal posing arm. Like if you were to put this on your shelf or something, you don't necessarily need these wires. You might be better off just getting a poseable stand. Uh, but yeah, so it's all about balance. You got to kind of shift it around here. You see, I'm trying to well, maybe let's twist this around. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, did I get it? Is he going to stand? There we go. So you've got that left knee kind of hiked forward to give him that nice motion look to it. You've got the right arm pulled forward as far as we can go. So he's throwing the punch. You've got the left arm back. And it's uh, in like more of a, like a bent pose, kind of just to give it that dynamic look. Um, one thing you can always do as well is look at source material. If you're ever like, I don't know how to pose something or I don't know how to make it look like the character's supposed to, go through and look at comics and, and stuff like that and see how he's posed there. Um, and this is going to be a perfect example is we're, now we're going to do some thwipping action because that's, that's a big one for Spider-Man, you know? He's always swinging through the city, shooting webs everywhere. Now, before I get a bunch of comments saying, oh, when he's in the symbiote costume, it doesn't come from, you know, that, you know, out of the wrist and stuff. I know, but just for the sake of what we're doing here, it's going to. Um, so this one is going to be very, very much focused on ab crunch. You want to lean him forward as much as possible. His legs, if you see Spider-Man in the comics and even really in anything, video games, the cartoons all of it he's always got his legs in these unnatural positions like they, they're always kind of going up in the air like past almost his head it's really impressive and very uh flexible like I, I don't know very many people who could probably get in these poses uh but we're gonna get this here as you see you want to have the feet kind of facing forward so you see the soles of the feet and then this is the hard part getting him to sit properly on here See if I can get find a good spot. Maybe, come on. Just need you to sit here and play nice for like a couple minutes. Nothing crazy. Give me a second here. Well, maybe, maybe. Nope. There we go. All right. So, and you see, get the he shoots the web between his legs always, which. It's really kind of suggestive when you think about it. It's a little weird, um, but it's never, you know, I mean, I guess occasionally he does, you know, thwip up in the air, but it's always, it's almost always he's got his legs, you know, up in the air. He's shooting it through in between them. He's, you know, moving forward. You've got the arm pulled back with the finger sprawled. You've got the ab crunch twist up just enough to kind of get that forward shoulder to give him that momentum look to it. So... You, you you kind of just have to play with it and get it where you want it and get it to, you know, how you feel it should look. Like I mentioned, look at the source material. If you're ever, you know, in question of, I don't know how this works, um, just, just look at what he's posed like in the comics and then just try to, like, mimic it and, and you know, take the time. Uh, same thing with, like, him swinging through the city. Uh, also, by the way, these web effects I'm using, these are from Webheads uh, on, I believe, Instagram and on eBay. So go ahead and check them out. I'll try to remember to link them in the description below. Uh, but here, you know, same, almost identical. Feet facing forward. You got that arm, front arm. Instead of being outward, it's more straight down. And 
Unfortunately, this figure doesn't have an open, like, gripping hand, so we're going to have to kind of kayfabe this a little bit. Let me see if I put it on backwards if it'll look right. There we go. Looks close enough. So, you know, got the feet facing forward, the legs kind of bent backwards, that back left arm still reaching back as if he's letting go of the next web. You've got the, you know, top chest part twisted, so you get that kind of forward motion. Because when you're running and stuff, you, you don't run, well, most people don't run like square like a box, you know, you get a little bit of forward motion each time you move your shoulders front and back. And it's the same thing with these figures. When they're moving, that's going to be the motions you want to try to mimic. So it really does come down to, you know, what you want to do and just practice. You want to you know, fiddle with it, play with it. I mean, that's what these figures are. They're, they're toys. You've got to play with it to figure out how you want it. So he can even do just like, you know, standard hunch down poses. Uh, but that's going to be it for this Let's Play. Let me know in the comments. Did you want to see more of these? Did you enjoy it? Did you think this was stupid? Do you, who, who, what do you want me to see me do? I've got Moffex, I've got figure arts, I've got turtles, I've got all sorts of things. McFarlane, let me know in the comments below what you would like to see me do next, or if you want to see me do this at, again at all. Uh, as always, please make sure to like and subscribe. It helps us out here at the channel. And follow us over on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Modern Toy Fair. Don't forget to check us out live every Wednesday, 10 p.m. Eastern Time for Wednesday Night Only Figs, where we go over our weekly purchases. If you do have the replay of it every Wednesday uh, afterwards, a week later, here on the channel. But if you want to be there live and interact with us in the chat, make sure to show up on Twitch, 10 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, but beyond that, hopefully we will see you next week. Same toy time, same toy fair channel. Thank you for watching.